What you're gonna need is a blender, a can opener for your condensed, sweet condensed milk in your evaporated milk, five eggs, a bar of cream cheese, van vanilla extract, a cup of sugar, we're gonna use that later and I'm gonna show you why, and two pans, one pan smaller than the other. Open your blender uh, and open your cans. First, pour in the evaporated milk. After you're pouring in everything in there, uh, grab your sweetened condensed milk and pour that in. There's gonna be st some sticky, it's gonna be sticky because it's condensed, duh. So tr grab a spoon and try to pull it out of it, the can. Then you're gonna crack all five eggs inside of it, you know. It's weird because, okay, it's weird because how you, how does this abomination of food goes from this to something delicious? I don't know, don't know the science to it, but it tastes good at the end, you're gonna trust me. And a few, a few dabs of vanilla extract and then put in the stick of butter and blend all of that. After a few seconds, uh, try to make sure there's no bubbles into it. So, blend every single thing inside of that. Now go to your stove, grab your cup of sugar, put it on top of a pot, and just let it there. Put a low medium heat, or low heat, and be careful on this because after a few minutes you're gonna see why I would say be careful. And yeah, because of the boiling point of the sugar, Everything is melted and now is very hot and it will turn brown. I've not said this earlier, grab white sugar, not brown. 
white sugar. After burning your sugar for a few minutes, it should be a liquid, a brown liquid. That's how you know it's done. Put it on the pan you're gonna use, the smaller pan, not the big pan, and pour it. It's gonna, you know, get hard, but don't worry, since it's gonna be inside of a pan, it's gonna melt, which is gonna submerge to the flan, which is gonna spread everywhere. So it'll be fine. You know what I'm saying? So after that, put that there. Then put in the flan, the batters. Yeah, put it in, boom. And you're done with the entirety of that part. Okay, grab your bigger pan and pour water to it. I use hot water to make the process go a little bit faster. You can use whatever water, cold water, hot water, whatever. It's gonna be heated up at one point. Then put that in. Carefully put the smaller pan inside the bigger pan, carefully, because you know, they're both pretty hot, or assuming you have hot water. Put it in and put like metal, uh, foil, aluminum foil on top of the smaller pan, you know, so water don't get in. And put it at 375 on the oven and you're cooking. Okay, put it at a good 30 minutes. And if you, since, you know, we put aluminum foil over the pan and we don't want to know yet, just in case it might be undercooked or overcooked. One way you can check it is grab a knife, open it up and stab it. And if the knife has something on it, like it's on something like uncooked water, flan water, it's obviously uncooked but if it does not that means it's perfectly good so if it has that pull it out boom but we're not done with that yet now what we're gonna need to do after that is put it in the fridge don't eat hot flan please don't well you can I won't kill you thankfully but I would recommend you to you know cool it first after an hour or two, your flan should be cooled, and that's when you know you can eat it. Just pop it out of the pan, and boom, you have perfectly good cold flan, you know. But I just wanted to say this earlier, just say in case you don't have vanilla extract, which could be understandable. You can also use orange extract or coconut extract, any type of extract you got, you know, for your flan. And eat it with that. It's not any different except now it tastes like that extract you use. But yeah, there should be no difference to it. Except for the extract. You know what I mean. But that's all for this video. I hope you like it. Last video I made, Empanadas. I hope you want to watch that. And see you later. Bye.